we need to have a device you will love it especially when we go camping well you know how many times uh sometimes we lose the power and how you charge your phone out or you want to run a light bulb or anything or when you're camping you want to turn something on that required an ac so i have the perfect portable power station power station or a small generator silence Very perfect silent. yes, yes. For you. How are you doing, everyone? This is W from Media Box CNT, and we have the camera, Mikinina. So, what do you think about my portable generator? I it runs a battery. I think that it's super useful. Yes, like what you will use it for. Hmm, I will use it to charge my phone, cameras, laptops, drones, a mini fridge that I might have in the car. Yes, I mean, you can use it either uh, to put the vacuum, you know, the vacuum or the, yes, let's say, like the, the power, portable uh, I will pump. Focus in cleaning the car. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would say like uh, the portable uh, pump, you know, yeah. I don't know, whatever you want to use. So it's real nice, it's small. And so it's we very take fashionable, it. seriously. Oh, yes, yes. It has a kind of a oh, retro color, maybe? Fancy. Maybe it has a retro color look like? Maybe. Huh? Yeah, I think it looks like a, re a little bit of retro color. And it can, can be used not only for natural disasters, such as emergency power outage in family life or hurricanes, but you can use it around the house. Yeah, too. and it's small, a nice uh, size. It's not a crazy big and a crazy six inches by uh, seven. Excellent. And. Uh, about three inches you can just thick. have it in your camper in your truck in your car it's very easy to carry yes and it has it's like small. a handle on top yes so you got the handle is now here we got the light so yeah. it has a good and lighting. About the light it has an led lighting it has three flashes mode constant yeah. flash That's for and emergency. a slow flash for sos help right let's say you got stuck in the middle of the road you can just put this and let people know that you you need help you need help or whatever but now let's look at the important thing too let's look right from the side so we get a little adapter all right you're going to put the adapter here s4 you 12 volts you, should, you plug it right over here and now i can turn on uh put those portable vacuum or anything they use in the car for trouble any device you've been in camping or inside the house you can plug right over here now to charge is 110 to 240 power supply what are you going to do you plug right right there so you plug it in, and right now it shows me it's 100%, and this will blink, let you know the percentage that requires charge. So here also we have a 12 volt output, so if you got anything that requires a type of connection, 12 volt output, but pretty important, we got the uh, QC 3.0 USB, so charge your cell phone or anything runs on the USB. Now to turn it on, we're gonna press right over here, press for a few seconds, it's on, and now, I have my USB and we can see the voltage. 5 volts. Check the other one. Yeah. 5.15. So now you can charge your cell phone or any device. Not today. There is many things that runs on a USB. Even lighting, anything, right? You plug right there. But now the most important thing too, you want to plug in something that runs AC. Now the output is 110 volts, 60 hertz, up to 100 watts so do not try to put in anything that requires more than 100 watts anyway if you put something more than 100 watts i will see this little sign it will come on and let you know this real light you open power now to activate ac press the power and then press the ac for a few seconds see red and then goes green light so you got the green light right there so one is on we go and we plug it in and done now remember Anything you're going to apply here, make sure it's up to 100 watts, no more than 100 watts. And you can charge this a few hours. So definitely, it's in, uh, a nice device is it to carry in the, in the car or have inside the house in case you're, you're out of power. Or if you're a person who likes to go camping and turn some light during the night, and this thing will do it for you. Now, the recommendation, and by the way, you get the full um, instructions here on how to run the configuration and everything else. Now, also, the manufacturer recommends, and you should do that with everything else, uh, they require battery charge. You should full charge every uh, once every three months or every oh, six months. Yes, uh, yes. If you want to extend, 
if you want to extend the life of this at least every three months make sure it's charged because in case maybe you're not use it for six months and then the day the power goes off oh you got no more battery so mm -hmm. keep it charged any any ups when you stop the device you should do that anyway all right menina so you like this thing I you really like it. it a lot. I didn't expect it to be that size, which I love a lot, actually, the size of it, because I can really take it everywhere that I need. Yeah, you stick it in the small. car, like, in the back, you know, when you have all the stuff. Yes. Excellent. Excellent thing. If you want to get one like this, all you have to do is click the link below. Yes.